Hello and welcome back to Jedi Enclave. I am Daniel, your resident lonely nerd with too much time on his hand. It's apparently trailer season over at Lucasfilm as another trailer has dropped for one of their upcoming properties, The Mandalorian, starring Pedro Pascal, Gina Carano, and friends. We're going to do what Star Wars fans do best, obsess over tiny details, formulate far-fetched theories, and become a little prickly when those theories don't pan out. It would be awesome if you could like the video and subscribe to our channel. We appreciate fellow nerds and we'd love to talk to you, so drop a comment while you're at it. Okay, let's get sweaty. Our trailer opens with an art installation of sorts, displaying what is either decapitated heads wearing helmets or just helmets of Imperial stormtroopers. It's clear that Imperial reign wasn't openly accepted everywhere, particularly on backwater planets where the Empire's influence was non-existent. We hear a line from Walter Herzog's character that says, it's a world more peaceful since the revolution, and it's possible he's referring to the rebellion's victory at the forest moon of Endor. Next are characters writing what I thought were dewbacks at first, but it turns out they're called Lurgs, which originated in the 1985 made-for-TV film Ewoks The Battle for Endor, but also made appearances in a handful of places like Clone Wars and Rebels. We see our hero in a cavern ambushed by our favorite lizard boys, Trandoshans. It is unlikely that any of them are notable Trandoshan bounty hunter Bosk, and we also noted that the Mandalorian's armor is much less sleek than we've seen it in promotional materials, and it's possible he hasn't finished acquiring all the pieces he needs for that sweet ensemble. We see that awesome tuning fork-turned rifle weapon he carries, and it looks like he can give enemies a bit of a jolt with it. Oh, here's something horrifying. A collection of bounties that the Mandalorian has scored painfully frozen in carbonite. We hear Herzog say, but bounty hunting is a complicated profession. Complicated is one word. Another word is absolutely fucking horrific and awesome. We see some awesome flying shots of the Mando's clone era ship, the Razor Crest, which happens to have a loading ramp not dissimilar from Slave Ones that makes unloading your frozen and carbonite prey a breeze. It's Herzog again saying, They said you were coming, as our Mando boy walks into a cantina stuffed full of sketchy aliens and lowlifes. Herzog adds, They said you were the best in the parsec. Now, does that mean best in the measurement of distance or best in a measurement of time? Because it's Star Wars and we have no fucking clue what exactly a parsec even is in this universe. We see a scene familiar to those who saw the leaked Mandalorian footage from Star Wars Celebration as Herzog asks, do you agree? And then all hell breaks loose as Mando Boy walks out of the door and immediately ices a guy without even looking. He takes a direct shot from a blaster but the armor must be premium grade because it barely even registers. One chest kick later, and it's clear that the Mandalorian is not a guy you fuck with. Oh look, is that his buddy Grief Karga in the doorway? Next is a kid in a red robe-like thing, and I swear to god I thought it was Palpatine's red Sith robe from Revenge of the Sith, but let's not get too crazy here. Camera pans up to reveal an HMP droid gunship. We see his parents in some old-fashioned super battle droids hot on their trail. I think this could be a flashback that will lay some origin groundwork for our hero. We see a closer look at a sequence we've already seen where this poor Corrin bloke gets lassoed and then presumably doored to death. And what the hell is this thing? A moss rhinoceros? A moss noceros? I don't know, looks cool as fuck though, but look, Mando Boy's trying to lasso him too. We get another look at the Mando's Ugnaught pal and a stunning shot of swoop bikes racing over a desert landscape. It looks like Mando Boy and Gina Carano's character Cara Dune are going to be BFFs. I'm especially curious to see how a formal rebel shock trooper is adjusting to a galaxy without the Empire. We hear Herzog say, look outside Mandalorian, they are waiting for you. And it looks like he means literally, because it seems that Moff Gideon is about to whoop some ass Poyos Hermanos style. Explain yourself. They could show us this sequence of IG-11 kicking ass over and over, and I love it every time, and I cannot wait to hear Taika Waititi's voice acting for this role. We see a woman who looks a little sweet for our Amanda boy as she slowly starts to take off his helmet. I think it's awesome that he's not just a stone-cold mercenary, but seems to have some people that he really cares about. Cara Dune kicks some more ass with a big fuck you gun, and then this guy pops from around the corner with not two, but three similar fuck you guns. It kind of looks like they're taking a page out of Predator here, and that's pretty cool. The Mandalorian must really love to lasso things, because here he is again lassoing a goddamn TIE fighter that's been piloted by Moff Gideon. I think they're setting up some conflict between two warring Imperial factions fighting for power, and Moff Gideon is on the wrong end of a very terrifying kick-ass Mandalorian stick. 
Mando Boy lifts his tuning fork gun and answers Herzog's line from before and says, yeah, good. The Mandalorian will premiere on Disney Plus on November 12th, and I'm almost as excited for it as I am Rise of Skywalker. Let us know what you think, drop a comment below, give us a like, and join us on social media. We're on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and our podcast is on Apple Podcast, Google Play, Spotify, and SoundCloud. We will see you in a few parsecs, but always remember. The ability to speak does not make you intelligent. Now get out of here.